Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this, we'll talking about Canada to announce immigration levels plan 2024 to 2026. In a highly anticipated move, the Canadian government is set to unveil its immigration levels plan for the years 2024 to 2026. This announcement is poised to be a significant milestone, as it will provide crucial insights into Canada's immigration policy, shaping the nation's demographic landscape economic vitality, and cultural diversity in the coming years. As Canada continues to attract talent from across the globe, the new Immigration Levels Plan is expected to address various aspects of immigration, including the number of newcomers, the distribution of immigration categories, and the country's commitment to family reunification. This plan plays a pivotal role in shaping the nation's future and is closely monitored by stakeholders, immigrants, and the international community alike. So, to get all the information, Pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Canada will release its Immigration Levels Plan 2024-2026. Under the Immigration and Refugees Protection Act, which is Canada's main immigration law, the federal government must release its annual immigration plan by November 1st in non-election years. The Immigration Levels Plan acts as the guideline for the number of new permanent residents who will be admitted into Canada over the next three years under each of the three immigration classes, economic, family, and humanitarian. And the third theme that I mentioned focuses on developing a comprehensive and coordinated growth plan, one that brings governments and partners together to ensure that we have the services and supports that newcomers need to succeed. This means housing, health care, infrastructure, among other success factors. I will not underestimate the importance of that. If we've heard anything from Canadians over the past few months, from the extensive surveys that are being done, um, Canadians aren't close to immigration, but they want people like me, they want provinces, they want cities to do a better job in coordinating uh, the arrival of immigrants. The plan advances the mission of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, to strengthen Canada's economy reunite families and make Canada a safe place for those fleeing oppression or other humanitarian crises. In 2022, Canada broke the record for new immigrants at 437,000 admissions. The target for permanent resident admissions in 2023 is 465,000. Canada pursuing new strategy to improve immigration system. We need to better align immigration programs, systems and services with Canada's labour market. This is what we've heard consistently from uh, stakeholders. And all those um, will, that sh speak to us on a daily basis about their needs, uh, for example, in the construction industry, um, for in, in the healthcare industry, making sure that we are aligning properly that supply to the demand. The Immigration Levels Plan 2024 to 2026 comes one day after Canada unveiled a new strategy to improve its immigration system. On October 31st, Immigration Minister Mark Miller acknowledged shortcomings in the country's immigration system as he outlined the pillars of a new approach to modernize the system. The new strategy, entitled An Immigration System for Canada's Future, has three major goals. 1. Create a more welcoming experience for newcomers. 2. Align immigration with labor market needs. 3. Develop a comprehensive and coordinated growth plan. IRCC is seeking to deliver a more pleasant and user-friendly experience to its clients. In addition, IRCC would like to better align Canada's immigration policies with its skills and labour strategy. Support smaller communities to attract and retain newcomers providing the right services around the country and frankly review our service standards so that our processing times take into the conditions that people are actually facing because at the end of the day we are always dealing with humans. Um, our aim to improve services won't only stop with newcomers, we're also addressing border crossings for Indigenous peoples in Canada since traditional territories can cross the U.S. border. Third, IRCC would like to develop an integrated plan among all three of Canada's levels of government to ensure the country can offer adequate housing, health care, and infrastructure to its growing newcomer population. Canada began to increase immigration levels in the late 1980s. Canada's immigration strategy began to shift toward its current form in the late 1980s. Before this, the government did not place as much emphasis on planning for future immigration and generally set immigration targets based on the economy of the day. Canada welcomed fewer than 90,000 immigrants in 1984. As the 1990s approached, the federal government, run by the Conservative Party at that time, realized there would soon be a shortage of labor and raised immigration targets to 250,000 new permanent residents over eight years. 
We'll continue to prioritize trades and skilled workers in construction. Um, I'm looking at a number of options within my department to make that stream more attractive to, to foreign workers, uh, including credentials, having support from unions and employers to make sure that those construction jobs that are needed, we predict about 100,000 over the course um, of the time we need to build all the houses we need for Canadians. That will not all come domestically, it'll have to come from abroad. The Liberal government was then elected in 1993 and continued to increase immigration targets. It also began to put more focus on admitting economic class immigrants and reducing Canada's family and humanitarian class shares to help aid the economy in a recession. Some 260,000 immigrants were then admitted annually until the current Liberal government was elected in 2015. Under the current federal government, led by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, targets were raised to 300,000 and then to 340,000 shortly before the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. In 2021, despite pandemic restrictions, Canada broke its record for permanent resident admissions by landing 405,000 new immigrants. Canada is currently coping with an affordability crisis and housing shortage that has led to several polls indicating less enthusiasm among Canadians for immigration than in previous years. However, IRCC continues to maintain high immigration targets because of a shortage of skilled labour in the face of a low birth rate and the impending retirement of millions of Canadian workers as they reach 65. As it stands, Statistics Canada's most recent population estimate shows that newcomers are responsible for 98% of Canada's population growth. I want to say that I remain convinced advancing Canada's humanitarian le leadership on the world stage. We are the envy of many countries in the way we have uh, welcomed people, uh, but this is something that Canadians are asking us to do in much more of a planned way. Um, but it is important to maintain that beacon of light across the world because lots of countries are looking to us in our continued leadership and it's something that we need to keep going, um, particularly as we face, as I mentioned earlier, unprecedented mass migration due to war, famine, starvation, um, climate change. The most recent job vacancy data shows that, as of July 2023, there were 701,300 vacant jobs in Canada. While this is a decrease of 273,700 open positions in a year-over-year -year period, it is still significant enough for IRCC to make some changes to prominent immigration programs and systems, such as Express Entry, earlier this year to further target economic immigrants who are best suited to help Canada close the labour force gap, IRCC introduced category-based selection rounds of invitations for express entry candidates who have work experience in an in-demand sector, or the ability to promote the French language outside of Quebec. In conclusion, the unveiling of Canada's immigration levels plan for 2024-2026 is an important event with far-reaching consequences. This plan reflects Canada's commitment to a dynamic and diverse future, emphasizing the country's position as a global leader in immigration and multiculturalism. As the government announces its intentions and strategies today, it will set the stage for a new chapter in Canada's immigration history, one that promises continued growth and opportunities for those seeking a new life in the Great White North. The world watches with anticipation to see how these plans will unfold, ultimately reshaping the fabric of Canada for years to come. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.